Time now to turn our attention to eventing and meet up with a husband and wife duo with high ambitions of competing in this year's Rio Olympics. Since making the UK their permanent base, New Zealanders Tim and Janelle Price have made a huge impact on the eventing scene. We first met up with the guys in France last October while they were competing at the FEI Classics event in Po. Kiwis are renowned for their sporting prowess. Rugby, cricket, netball are all popular national pastimes. So why horses? Um, that's a really good question and I, I don't know the answer. I just had uh, a bizarre pull towards horses. I don't think I was most naturally gifted or, or any of those things. I didn't have um, extensive background or, or backing to pursue it, but for some reason I had it in my head that I was going to event at the highest level. I was going to go to the Olympics and um, it's amazing, I guess, what you can achieve with a bit of dogged determination and a lot of hard work. Yep, um, yeah, just slightly more um, in front of me horses, I guess, when I was growing up on a farm with my mum. Uh, who, who rode horses and things and uh, got my father addicted to the horse world as well. Went from that to the fact that I'm quite a competitive person and um, sort of put the two together and that's where we have arrived at what we're doing now. Tim and Janelle met at a show back home in 1997 and first came to the UK in 2003. Two years later they made the move permanent and have been based ever since at Tim and Melissa Brown's Mere Farm in the west of England. It was thanks to an, an Australian event rider called David Green, who was an initial um, acquaintance when we were first coming over to England um, on a casual basis. Um, and he had, a, had an old friend who bought, bought the property that we're still at in the outskirts or on the outskirts of Marlborough that was run down and needed a lot of work, but the owners put a lot of time and we put a lot of energy into it, which um, certainly helped with the rent for the first few years and uh, when we were young, struggling Kiwis with not a lot of uh, income. And, uh, and from there it's just built and developed, but the good thing is it's a, it's a big property, isn't it? So it's always had the scope to be what it is today, um, a beautiful Christian property. Yeah, I mean, I think in, in hindsight it was a fairly ambitious move and probably if we had a, a bit more sense between us, we probably wouldn't have taken it on at the time. But here and now, obviously, it, it was a great move and we're thankful we did it. Eventing is an individual sport, but over the years, Tim and Janelle have created an intriguing dynamic around working together. They compete on an equal footing and have risen to the top of their profession at the same time. So, do they see themselves as the golden couple of eventing? I don't think we buy into it too much. This is just what path we went down. We obviously met each other quite early in our eventing careers, I guess, and we've not known any different. Um, and we're just constantly trying to do better and achieve more and it just so happens that at the moment we're running on um, fairly parallel lines, I guess. To work beside each other, it's not so intertwined. It's a, it's a, great, um, it's a great thing and we're very lucky to be doing the same thing and, and got so much in common in that respect as well. So while we enjoy it, it's no different to how it's always been. Janelle was part of the New Zealand bronze medal winning team at the London Olympics. And then in 2014, the duo made history as the first Kiwi husband and wife team to compete in the World Equestrian Games. Since then, both have experienced some standout moments. For me, it was it's probably Le Moulin this year. Um, I had a very good second in the, in the four star there with Ferry Dianimo. She's a really special little horse and she's perhaps at 10 years old, you know, just starting to really show a little bit of her talent this year. I think she's a, a really exciting horse for the next few years. I'm, I'm really lucky to have her. She's probably the first I've had that can do, you know, a test amongst the leaders. She's very good at cross country and, and she's super careful on the last day. So um, I guess that's it for me. As far as a breakthrough horse, it would have to be Wesco. who gave me my first and only to this day um, four-star win. Um, and that was just a great achievement. And a, there's a real um, confidence that comes from that that you can sort of pack, tuck that away and carry on. One of Tim and Janelle's great strengths is that they help each other at competitions, but neither could succeed without a dedicated team behind them, whether on the road or back at Mere Farm. We've got a good team of people behind us and, and we've top, uh, top uh, 
groom, head girl if you like, and a two and second in charge to her is uh, a very good groom as well. And then the girls and boys underneath just make it possible for us to do what we do. And um, it's definitely a very crucial part of it. And we're very happy and grateful that it's working well at the moment. Tim is currently ranked third in the world with Janelle 15th. But back in 2012, he missed out on the Olympic eventing team in which Chanel tasted success. But as we head toward Rio, both riders should be included in the Kiwi squad this time around. Certainly looking ahead to Rio is obviously the big one. We'd love to both be there on the team. Obviously everybody's dream I think is, is a team gold and we're certainly in a good phase of eventing for New Zealand. We've got a great team. Yeah, the future looks great, exciting for the Kiwis. We really want to, um, to, to win next year at Rio as a, as a team, and uh, we believe we can do that. We've got a strong bunch. It'll be great to see a couple of the old boys out in, um, in fine form and style. It'll be a great party uh, that would be worth putting the work in for that alone. But um, um, personally, a, a medal, individual medal would be, would be great next year. And yeah, it, the future looks um, great. It's, uh, it's fun to be over here doing what we're doing and uh, yeah, look forward to a few more years yet.